So, we're gonna do this meeting? Whoa! Oh, yes. Sorry. Completely forgot you were here. Now... What did you come in for again? As I was saying before you started eating, um... My business has been struggling uh, recently, trying to pull in clients. Right. And you need me to... Oh, well, you're my business consultant. I need some advice, um, and I need you to help me. Help me... Help you get more money and stuff, yeah. Well, as a small business owner, you have to be on the lookout for opportunities to gain new clients constantly. Not just in a professional setting, but in all aspects of life. Okay. For example, you could be eating dinner one night at a lovely Indian restaurant with delicious butter chicken and chicken vindaloo and garlic naan with chicken sauce. Okay, yeah. And the food is so good that you think, hang on, I can use this to my advantage. You go to the manager and you say, hey, I love the food here and I would love to offer you my services. If they're hesitant, you could offer to do a couple of pro bono gigs just to establish the relationship. And if they like what you do, they'll almost definitely give you a free meal. Right, so how, how does that help me financially? You're establishing the relationship. So over time, you can build a rapport and eventually you might acquire another free meal. <sighs> okay, I think we're a little off topic. What I'm talking about is establishing and developing a steady stream of revenue. That's what I'm talking about. You can't just be thinking about money. It's all about networks, connections, synergy. I understand that, but... Let me run another example by you because I think you're getting caught up with the whole restaurant thing. You could meet up with some of the small business owners in your local area and offer to do some jobs for free just to establish the relationship. And you know, before too long, they might eventually cut you in on their lunch order and bam, free meal, another free meal. Because human beings are reciprocals. Yeah, look, ah, uh, I'm gonna stop you right there and I, I don't see any point continuing this meeting or having any future meetings for that matter. You know, I came to you because my business is falling apart. I had to fire 85% of my staff last week. Even, even. Tyler McMinty. Young man with a, with a wife and a baby on the way. After I gave him my word, I promised him that he would be working with me for the foreseeable future. Now he's out on the streets, begging for scraps, begging for scraps like a dog. So, when I come to you... I'm gonna go. Okay, fair enough. I don't really know what you do anyway. You'll still have to pay for this session though. Oh, ho, ho. is that the family box? Yep. Same as always. Did you get the mustard sauce? <laughs>